We've looked at passing numerous different data types as arguments to methods, but we haven't looked at objects. You can pass an entire object as an argument to a method. <laughs> we can even type hint like we've been doing with some of our other examples like the int and shrink data types. So let's just go ahead and jump in and look at some examples. So let's go ahead and look at object arguments. So far we've been dealing with this car class that extends the vehicle class, and we're also using a couple of traits, transmission and engine. So that's where we're at right now. But we want to we want to do some additional stuff. We want to be able to pass objects as arguments. So let's see how we would do that. Before I do that, I'm going to create a couple of new classes. First one is going to be Lamborghini.php and the next one is going to be let's say Ferrari.php. Each one of those classes or each one of those files require once car.php and we'll say class Lamborghini extends car and we'll just leave it as is and we'll also say require once ferrari.php and then class ferrari extends car so now i'm gonna go ahead and create a new file called object arguments which will delete all of that from our previous tutorial. So we'll call this object arguments. And inside object arguments, we're gonna require once, for example, Lamborghini.php, and we'll say Lambo, or actually let's say, be pretty specific, Lamborghini Diablo is equal to new Lamborghini, and we can actually call the constructor. So year, 1999, the next one is make, Lamborghini, a model is the Diablo. So how do we just do this? I know we haven't covered this in the previous tutorials and I just wanted to briefly touch upon it because a Lamborghini extends car and car, which I don't have opened, has a constructor, we can actually call that extended constructor. So pretty interesting stuff. So it automatically calls the car constructor if the Lamborghini constructor is absent like it is in this case. So now what can we do with it? Well, same thing like we've been doing. So we can say something like Echo Lamborghini Diablo. And as you can see, we have access to all of the functions like check engine oil level. And I think actually that echoes out by itself. So we can just say that Lamborghini Diablo check engine oil level and it's going to go back up to the car class. It's going to go into the engine and it's going to call the check oil level inside the engine. You can check the previous tutorial on how we did that. Let's go ahead and open it up in our browser. And there it is. Engine oil level good, which is exactly what we wanted to get. Now we can also include our Ferrari class, for example, and we can also say something like Ferrari F355 is equal to new Ferrari. And I can't remember when the 355 was out. We'll say 96. Ferrari F355. And then we'll call, for example, Ferrari F355 check oil level. And we're going to go back, refresh the page. So now we have connection successfully established, transmission oil level good, successfully closed. So we're calling two different. So this is the constructor destructor that keeps getting called. All right, we got that. But now we wanna be able to pass some of these things as arguments. So for example, I wanna be able to pass this Ferrari object. I wanna be able to pass this Lamborghini Diablo object. So what are we gonna do? I, I think the way that I wanna approach this, I, I wanna go ahead and create another file and we're gonna call this one driver because somebody's gonna drive these cars. I should have named it Dino for myself. But what I'll do is I'll say class driver and inside the driver class, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a public method and we'll call it drive. And what we wanna do is we want to get some kind of vehicle. So let's try this. So we'll say car car, and then we'll call the car. Let's see, let's see what method are we gonna call with that car. Let's open up the car class and let's go all the way down to drive. So we can call drive, but we first have to turn the car on, if I remember correctly, which is right here. So inside of our driver class, we'll say turn on and then car drive. Actually, both of these methods return something, so we need to echo 
both of these out. Because if we go into our car class, car.php, turn on returns this, and so does drive. So we're gonna have to echo that stuff out. Now inside of our class, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these methods that call actually the check engine all level. And I wanna include, I wanna require once our driver.php class, and then I'll create a new driver. We're gonna call that new driver me, Dino. So we'll say Dino is equal to new driver. And then we can call that method, which is drive. And we're gonna pass it a car, but we haven't instantiated a car. Well, guess what? We I know we haven't done this before, but because each one of these extends car, we can actually pass either one of these as an argument into the drive method. If you look inside of our driver, the driver type hints that it needs a car, but we have a Ferrari, which extends car, and a Lamborghini, which also extends car. So technically they're both instances of car as well. So now we could say, hey, we don't need to pass it a car object, but we could pass it a Ferrari F355, like we just did right there. If we go ahead and open this up again, it says, I'm driving. And what I'm gonna end up doing because this is starting to get on my nerves a little bit, is I'm gonna go into our car method, go all the way into the constructor, and I'm gonna get rid of this echo su um, successfully established and connection successfully closed. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna delete the whole destructor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and quick refresh, and there we go. F355 has been turned on, and I'm driving, which are the two methods we called inside of our driver drive method. Pretty cool, we actually tackled quite a few things. Not only did we pass an object, but we type hinted car. So this is, in most languages, called polymorphism, which is you're passing a specific type that's been inherited. So for example, when Ferrari extends the car, so now Ferrari is of type car as well. And we pass that into our driver as an argument. Pretty interesting. So let's see what else we can do. We can go to our driver class and let's say we want to get all of the functions that or the methods that the car object has or the Ferrari or Lamborghini. We, we just want to get everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, comment that piece of code out and then I'll create another let's call it property right so public car car and then I'll create a constructor so I'll create a constructor in here and that constructor is going to be accepting a car <laughs> argument and then all we want to do is say this car is equal to car so we're just setting this property inside here. Now we might as well make this private since we're not going to be accessing it any other way. So we're passing this car to here and then we're assigning it as a property. Now we can have a public function drive method for example and that drive method will just say echo this car and now because car is an object we can actually call certain methods. So for example turn on and then echo this car turn off or actually Let's go ahead and put the drive method as well because this is the drive portion. Car drive. So now this is a little bit more structured um, as a class, as an object. So what we could do is we can comment that piece of code out and inside of our driver as a constructor, we can pass, for example, the Ferrari F355. And then we could say Dino drive, for example, in that case, go over here, refresh. Ferrari has been turned on. I'm driving and then the Ferrari has been turned off. We can also do another driver, for example, Harrison is equal to new driver and he is gonna be driving the Lamborghini Diablo. And then we could say Harrison drive, save it, refresh it. <laughs> there we go, Lamborghini has been turned on. I'm driving and the Lamborghini has been turned off. So what we actually saw right there is dependency injection. So we're gonna be able to pass whatever object into the constructor of the driver and then call the methods of whatever 
object we just passed. So then we can pass different types of objects. Like for example, whenever we get a Ferrari, we could always access their methods because we're accept we're expecting each one of those objects to actually have those methods. But we're gonna get deeper into dependency injection a little bit later on. Just kind of think about this, like as we passed an argument and all we did is set the argument inside here. And then we were able to access each one of those methods that are located in that car object. So that's really all there is to it. Um, hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. You do sometimes have to wrap your head around it a little bit, but I think if you guys play around with this, you'll be able to get it. So I will see you guys next time.